Graham's mounted on me. And I try to be a good jiu and I try to roll him off. So, I grab his arm, everything's all good here, I have that thing, and I go to roll him, but he opens out either that leg or even the knee. Like some tall guys like me can do just the knee. So he puts his knee out, put your knee out so you don't get wrong. Yes. So see how he's created that space here, guys? That's what I'm looking for. So I go to roll him and he stops it with his knee or you could use your foot, it doesn't matter. So if you're shorter, you'll use your foot. If you're taller, you tend to use your knee. So I go to give him a big roll. I've got him here, I've got to give him a big roll and he puts his knee out. Ah! Can't complete, okay? Because the circumference of the circle is farther than my hips could go. So I'm going to have to change techniques. But I don't mind if he defends doing this as long as I know that that is a typical variable that comes into play. So as long as I have an answer to that, I don't fear that counter. In fact, I welcome it because now I'm gonna be one move ahead. So if he doesn't post the knee, I'll roll him. If he does post the knee or the foot, I'm gonna do a top knee elbow escape and that's what we're gonna have a look. So most people in Jiu Jitsu do an elbow escape like this and there's nothing wrong with it. Brace here, get the elbow in and then I sort of like spread his legs apart and I get over this leg here and I push him away and get over this and I can put him back in guard. That's what most people do. The problem with that is Everybody knows that like if you're a blue belt, you, you know that. So we are going to use the opposite knee, the top knee. Okay, so let me demonstrate this technique to show you the top knee elbow escape. I try to roll him and he puts his knee out. So I'm going to hold it there and I get my top knee in like this. Now, Graham is not going to just let me do this and push him away and put him back in guard. Graham is gonna try to run. So when Graham tries to run to my side control over here, I catch a ride. See how my foot gets in this dorsiflexion position, like dorsiflexion is this way. And so as he jumps to my side, I catch a ride, and now he's back in my guard and I put two feet on the inside. So let's have a look at that again. He jumps straight over to mount again. I try to roll this guy. I can't get it, but I can use my elbow or my hand to get my right knee in. I dorsiflex my toes. So when he goes to hop around to my side, woohoo, I get a free ride. Okay? This is more than a technique. This is all about using your right foot on your left side, his right, and the opposite side to get free rides. If you don't know how to use this technique, you'll get your guard passed a lot, okay? So if Graham was standing, we're gonna go back to this technique in a sec. If Graham was standing and he throws my leg away, this one or something, and I'm here and he goes to pass here, most people here go, Ugh, and he just passes, okay? Ugh. That's it, like my night's gonna get hard now. But if I know how to use this, as he goes to pass, I get a free ride, and he never gets past my guard. So as long as, if he's here, as long as I can get a foot here, he's not gonna get past anything. And that's the skill set that we're building through tonight's technique. But the reason I like the top knee elbow escape is if I turn to my side here with Graham, like this. Now, obviously my legs are the same length, okay? I've never measured them, but I'm presuming. So when I turn to my side, because of the 45 degree angle of my hips, look, it looks like I've got a short leg and a long leg. So what's easiest to get in a restricted space? Short, right? Small the better. Now I've got long legs, so this is pronounced for me. So this one is not gonna slide in anywhere as easy as this one. So that's why we use our top knee. Dorsiflex our foot, and then when he goes to jump around, we get a free ride. Okay, so if I turn to this side, you see the same thing. See, I've got a short leg and a long leg. It should be the same, but because I'm on a 45, not a 90, if I'm on a 45, my top knee is shorter, so it will fit in the space. So one more time here, I've got Graham, and 
I go to give him a big roll, he puts his knee out. I get my top knee in and now he goes to run away. Run, run, run. And I catch a ride with him and put him back in guard. Okay, just as a little extra tip, what would Graham do to prevent this? Okay, so you can think ahead now. So I go to roll Graham this time, and he stops it, and then I try to get my knee in. What does he have to do to stop? He has to squish his knee in. And now look how easy he is to roll. So as long as I'm willing to go this one, this one, this one, this one, as long as you're not fighting back, I can knock anyone out on the planet. Okay? This is the same. As long as he doesn't do something to finish me, if I keep going, get my knee in, roll you over, get my knee in, go over, eventually, you're going to get exhausted or so confused that I'm going to get one of them. Okay? So that's what I want you guys to work on. Once you've done a few, start putting a bit of, a bit of resistance. But now that we're doing this one, you can roll them or do the top knee elbow escape. Both of them are okay once you start adding resistance. So do you guys feel comfortable with this one? Again, if I've got Graham here, he tries to roll me. Okay, try to roll me. Right, yeah, whichever way you want. Oh, I open my knee out, so he gets his top knee in. Get the top knee in. I go to run away to side control. He catches a ride, and now I'm in his guard. That's what we're practicing right now, guys. Top knee elbow escape, a big long time favorite of mine. It is the same principle as the normal elbow escape, but way more high percentage, okay? And I think it teaches a better skill set, okay? Because it's not only what you learn, it's why. Why do you learn it, okay? That's perhaps more important. Let's go. Thanks for watching the video, guys. For more videos, click here. To subscribe to this channel to get all of our awesome videos, click here. And if you'd like to have our hour-long series for free on foot locks and how to defend foot locks and leg attacks of all kinds, please click here. I'm Coach Tom, guys.